The HD Zero Freestyle Video Transmitter V2 is finally here and this represents the current evolution in the HD Zero system and it gives you all the things that you've been wanting before. Yes, Uncle Carl did deliver us one watt a little while ago, but that thing was all wide on the outside. That girl wide and all outside, talking about she looked like Janet Jackson. Because they couldn't quite squeeze it into a size that was digestible for a lot of us and what it meant was installing that very large video transmitter into a lot of builds it would hang off the side making it look unattractive unaerodynamic and in danger of hitting it i'm in danger it's kind of like if you tried to use your face as a shield going into battle you don't want to risk your most precious assets but now carl has done it by enclosing the ultra high thing in a very nice heat sweet shrink shrinking it down and making it taller you have the one watt freestyle vtx v2 comes with a nice little piece of vhb a little right hand antenna camera adapter some hardware and your wire harness now no this is the same pinout that goes to a vista not a dji 03 so you're either gonna have to repin this if you're gonna use it for an 03 build what does that all bat do for you it makes it the same size and shape as the cadex vista which as we all know has been able to fit in pretty much every frame design of the past several years and it is almost identically the same size the vista is 29 by 29 by 13 millimeters this is 29 by by 30 by 14 so it's only one millimeter wider one millimeter taller but it's easily going to fit in any frame meant for it this is actually a frame that was meant for the dji 03 it's the fox here or a three and a half inch and three and a half inch is a great size that means you can finally turn hd0 up to 500 milliwatts or one watt and if you unlock it by default the max is 200 milliwatts now you can get a bundle for 149.99 that comes with the 90 fps camera the ultra low latency camera that is going to give you the highest refresh rate to your goggles in conjunction with the HD Zero goggle, meaning that you'll have the most reaction time in order to avoid that obstacle, in order to avoid that branch, in order to make it through that race gate, in order to avoid hitting that eye beam that you've ever had before and doing it in beautiful HD. D. In addition to that, there's other new camera modes out there, most notably the 720 60 FPS, which is kind of a more traditional. That'll give you a little bit more resolution and clarity at the sacrifice of some of that reaction time. 60 FPS, though, is still really good. That's on par with the classic analog, which, as we all know, has been the standard for many years, but it gives you a much, much nicer picture. Now, HD Zero does have a little bit of breakup, allowing you to turn it up to up to one watt. You're going to minimize that. I would now put this on par going however long range that you want for all those long range heads or if you're just going to be flying at the bando or at the park now you're going to have the penetration needed to be confident you have confidence in your control link now you can have confidence in your video link up until now the most penetration was the dji 03 system and in some scenarios that's still going to be the case you're going to get more delay in the signal coming to your eyeballs even though the image is clear and that could cause some people some hangups not to mention the dji system is 230 dollars per build whereas this one is only 150 also is compatible with all of the other hd0 cameras out there on the market so you could get a different camera save a few bucks or utilize all the older cameras that you have in your stable of hd0 if you've been flying i personally recommend pairing this with the hd0 goggle that's going to give you by far the best results and you can convert any of your build now now you're going to want to do an unlock firmware for this then you're going to want to do the latest firmware update and make sure of course as always that your goggles are on the latest firmware and then bing bong boom you're ready to go out and fly this was a very easy process you can convert any formula dj build out there or very easily convert an analog quad over with just four wires in some respects cgi is still the king and some users like the hd walk snell system which is also evolving very quickly but there's nothing like the high speed of development the engagement with the community and actually giving us exactly what we want ever in the industry other than carl carl is at the races he's at the events he's talking to the pilots he's listening to suggestions and everything that we complain about eventually we either get that feature or we get a new piece of hardware like this one that gives us the size requirements that we've been wanting for so long so how do they do it? 
I don't know. As I'm using HD Zero more and more, less expensive, smaller, lighter, and we haven't had a high power video transmitter that wasn't huge, and now we do. So you can get your whoops up with the light boards. You can get your race builds up with the Race V3, and now you can get your freestyle and other micro builds up with this one. That's the type of versatility and flexibility that you can't find on the DJI side, and there's no if, ands, or buts. There's only one unit for DJI. There's only one camera for DJI. There's no replaceable lenses for DJI. So if you smash one, you're looking at paying the ultimate price, $230. Not so with HD Zero. Thanks, Uncle Carl. So as you can see, this thing fits in there perfectly. No soldering needed to convert this over as this flight controller already has a DJI plug. I just had to repin the harness to the four positions needed for the O3 because out of the box, this comes pinned for a Vista, but at least it comes labeled here. So it's really easy to do the repin. I just use a double-sided tape to mount this on. That's how I've always done all all my visas it does have 2020 mounting holes so you can mount it like that if you prefer but this is the lazy way and i am a lazy builder i did the unlock firmware and then i applied the latest firmware on top of that in order to get it up and working very very easy just a few minutes to get all this done and of course i have that 90 fps camera here at the back that is going to give me that juicy juicy footage and as you can see it is 30 millimeters across so it's just barely hanging off the sides but that's pretty much well protected Protected. As you can see, this particular frame goes in, but a lot of frames don't do that. So you were going to have full side protection for the majority of frames out there. Keep in mind, even though this is very heat synced, HD Zero is going to get hotter than the sun if you leave it on too long. So don't forget, if you do crank it up to those higher power levels, anything over 200, to not leave it sitting in the hot sun, just roasting, unless your plan is to make a nice set of sunny side up eggs on top of it. Mm -hmm.